Hey y'all, welcome to Style Your Spirit. I'm Tuan, it's like, and Tuan without the and, Tuan. So this is a place where I give you simple design tips and a spiritual tip to hopefully better your life, make your life inside and outside healthier. So today, speaking of health, I've been having terrible allergies. I don't know about y'all, but this year it seems like a lot of the people I know, including myself, have really bad allergies. So recently I stumbled upon two articles, one in Good Housekeeping, um, about how you're cleaning wrong and dusting wrong and apartment therapy, which is one of my favorite blogs, um, design blogs. And I realized um, that I had been dusting wrong. There's an article, which I'll link to here, that talks about how you and I have been dusting wrong. So here's a tip. Here's a couple tips. First and foremost, uh, we may be using the wrong tools, y'all. Um, I don't own a feather duster, but I know a lot of people do. But when you use the feather duster, you know the thing that looks like feathers at the end of a stick? What happens is that it just like propels the dust all over the rest of your room. It doesn't actually clean it up. However, if you use an alternative, which is a microfiber cloth like this, it just wipes, it's really dusty. My home in San Francisco, we have hardwood floors. It gets dusty really quickly. So anyway, so you could use this. And if you don't have money, you don't wanna spend uh, a bunch of money on that. You know what works really well too is, where's my dryer sheet? I had it prepared a moment ago. But you know, a used dryer sheet also works really well. Um, and another tip is uh, dusting from the top to dusting from the top down. If you start dusting in the middle of the shelves or get overly excited and start dusting from the top, you'll have to redust because the dust falls down. Um, also, when I dust, I usually make my bed. It's mid afternoon now, and I wanted to dust and wanted to do this video. So look, this is a rare time you'll see that my bed is not made because I like to dust and then. Um, wash the sheets after. Otherwise, you're sleeping in the, your own dust. After you're done dusting, it's also a good idea to either vacuum or and or mop the floors just to get all the yucky stuff down. So um, if you have pendant lamps such as these, I've got these awesome petaled pendant lamps from Anthropology in my room, as you can see. Um, I dust from the top there, dust the top of my shelves all the way down, then I wipe. Uh, or vacuum the floors. Um, and dust is just a yucky thing. Dust um, energetically collects a lot of dead energy. So energy is stuck in your home. Simple feng shui thing that um, a lot of us don't even think about. So that's a good way to clear the energy, the bad energy, the stuck energy from your life. And it's better for your health, mental, physically, and spiritually. If you like this tip, please let me know below and share with your friends. Have a good day, y'all. Thanks. Bye.